Well, many women keep the hairstyles that they wore 20 years ago because, well, they just find something that they like and they stick with it. Unfortunately, that hairstyle may not be working as well for you anymore. But how do you know exactly where to start and what to do as far as color goes to Live at Five Style contributor Paul Trailer joins us now with tips. And how do you know what to do with color too, especially if that gray starts coming through? What do you do? You know, that is one thing. When the gray first starts making its appearance, those are something that's real easily to camouflage, mm -hmm. to get away. It's when the hair goes beyond that 50%. Right. And we get into either 50, 60, even 100%. That's when we go, do I embrace it or do I stay away from it? I love natural gray. Mm -hmm. It is one of my you know, most favorite colors out there. But there are a lot of clients that say, I need to change. I need to have a little bit more color in my skin. And so depending on your skin tone, your eye color will dictate what type of tone you would put into an all over gray hair. Okay. okay? And then you're talking about how do we update that image? All right. A lot of mature women mm -hmm. are caught up in a very structured hairstyle. It, it comes from the perms we used to do back in right. the 70s, the 80s, and that was a very structured look. So what we're really teaching them is how to let the hair be a little bit more free flowing. And then very simple changes of just change the part from one side to the next. It could be that simple. Okay, and you brought a model with yes, you to kind of we, demonstrate. That we definitely so did. tell us who our you brought. Model, this is our beautiful model, Miss Bet, and she hails from Sam Rayburn. And All right. she was actually she's one of my clients and she was like, Paul, you need to show one of our ladies of maturity. Yeah. And I said, Well guess what? I'm gonna let you be that. <laughs> And Miss Bet has 100% gray hair, but what we do with her hair is we do a nice little soft kind of champagne blonde into it to add a little bit of dimension in there. But then we also let the front of her hair be a little bit lighter so that when the gray starts to come out, it grows out effortless. It's okay. It is very okay. And as you see with Bet's hair, she has a nice soft look. And this is one thing we do with her. Just two weeks ago, I said, let's change your part. As simple as that may be, it was a big change for her. But this right here, you see it's a youthful look. It's a fresh look. She is an absolutely stunning woman. Yes. And the color just adds enough shine, enough dimension to the hair that it looks natural. And you know what's nice to see is not that helmet hair, if you will. Of course. It's very natural and, and just looks like it can blow in the wind. And that's what we try to teach you is just to embrace it. Let it uh, be natural. So talk with your hair professional. Most certainly.